Hey guys, it's Juliet, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do videos on fashion, luxury, and travel. So if that's something you're into, definitely hit the subscribe button. I'm also on Instagram where I sell all of my handbags over there. And then I'm also on TikTok where I'm a little bit more fun and creative, so check me out on TikTok. So before we get into today's video, I just want to apologize for the echo. We just recently moved. I don't have it fully set up. We are supposed to be getting a rug to help with the echo in a couple of days, but I couldn't help but start filming in front of this beautiful new closet space that I do have. And I will give you guys a full tour of everything once it's all set up. But for today's video, I figured we could keep it casual and just chat a little bit. A quick thing before I get into the Amrez shopping, which this video is about, I'm really excited to talk to you guys about it. I just want to show you guys this new bag that I was using all day today. It's the Balenciaga Hourglass bag in the small with this um, beautiful baby pink color and really, really nice leather. It has a back pocket here, which reminds me of the back pocket that you would have on a Chanel bag. And really beautiful silver uh, hardware. And then you have the crossbody strap inside as well, though I did wear it as more of a handbag that you would wear in the crook of your arm. And it also has an inside zipper and a lot of space for a phone as well as a wallet. So I really, really love this bag. I I'm collaborating with Rebag, so this is not my bag, it's more of a loner bag. And with them, I really choose out pieces that I kind of want to have fun with. And the reason why I went for this bag is because it's a really hot it bag at the moment. Kim Kardashian and a bunch of other models are starting to wear this bag or influencers, so I feel like it's a very trendy piece. And I will say, I really did love this bag. I thought it's really versatile the way you can wear it. If you know me as well, I do love, love Kelly bags, so having the top handle was really clutch, and then I do love that it comes with the crossbody strap. Also, I think for this price point, it's pretty great. It's like under 3000 new, and then through Rebag, you could get even better discount, so really, really great um, piece. I, I think it's great. The only thing that I had an issue with it, and this is with a lot of bags I see this, and even some of the bags I do own, is that it doesn't have any feet at the bottom. And that's fine because like when we went out, I just laid it on my lap, but you just got to be careful because then the corners can wear a little bit more easily. I guess I'm just used to like wearing like some of my Hermes bags that always have feet on it, so I don't really have to worry as much about it. But yeah, like my Chanel, my Chloe Marcy, and my Demelier bag, like those bags don't have feet on it, so that is pretty common, but that's just the one con I wanted to point out. But overall, it's a really, really beautiful bag. I absolutely love it. So... I want to get into today's video since I know that's probably why you guys clicked on it and it's you know it's funny I really didn't know what I want to do for this weekend's video but on Instagram I've been talking to a lot of you guys and a lot of you guys have been scoring really big in France right now like I'm so happy for you for my last video of how I got two Hermes bags I didn't put both of those bags on my personal profile I put one of the bags on my profile that I got in Lyon, and then the other bag when I was at the Severus store went under my husband's profile. And what I've seen is that sometimes people that are following, you know, this, these videos, and this is what I'm doing. I want to do it because I want to see you guys get these bags. Like for me, it's funny. I feel like I've become like a Hermes kind of person, but overall, the way I view myself is more of like someone who loves to learn things and then loves to give what I've learned to other people across whatever genre. Like I know this focus of this channel is on Hermes bags primarily and also like luxury purses and fashion and travel. But before that I was doing like romance novels and self-publishing industry and other things. So I, I don't get off of like a tangent but I guess my point is like this is just truly because I want to see you guys succeed. So I'm really really happy you guys are succeeding. But basically, I've heard a lot of you guys be like, hey, what happened? Like, I got an appointment in Paris after getting a bag, and now I'm not getting the bag. So the issue is you have to go with someone else where you can put the bag under their name. So that's how it works. Because otherwise, what people are running into is if you go uh, to the flagship store and they see you have it on your profile that you got a bag a week ago, they're not going to sell you a bag because they want to give it to a customer that hasn't had an opportunity yet to get a bag on their trip, which is very, very fair. So that's one tip I have for you guys in terms of getting two quota bags if you're trying to get two quota bags. Now going back to one quota bag, since I know a lot of you guys are trying to get your bag for the first time, like just one, because I was at that point, I'm just literally just wanting one bag, not even two, just one, because that's how it was with my Birkin. 
it took me so many tries like if you haven't seen my Birkin journey story you have to watch it it's it's insane how many tries it was and the person I was then versus the person I was when I got these Kellys is vastly different just in terms of the demeanor and how I went about trying to get these bags like I think with the Birkin I was a lot more shy and nervous about it whereas with the Kellys I went in with a lot more confidence and more of like a laissez-faire attitude like if I get it great if not don't worry and I think that helped a lot so that's what I want to say about that in terms of brands I think a lot of people are scoring it's it's making me so happy I think you really have to go in with with again like not having that that attitude that comes across well first of all you don't have an attitude period that's like a bad attitude because that's also bad like don't be rude none of that always be very very polite but also you want to go in I think they're more receptive to people who aren't like desperate for a bag I don't I know that word probably isn't the best but that's the best way to describe it so either you're going in either you're going in like a novice like you don't really know anything Hermes being like more like oh like do you just like happen to have this bag like you know but like not any bag like for instance another example okay my friend went in and she wanted to get an airbag and so I told her they're gonna ask for an appointment so don't just say you want a bag because then they're immediately gonna assume you want a Burke and Kelly or Constance and giving you on an airbag that's like a easier to get bag quote unquote so you shop with them a little bit and then say I would love to get an airbag because then they'll be like, okay, I could probably get that for her. I'm not going to immediately tell her, no, we don't have any appointments. So then she was able to get her airbag. And then from there, she was able to ask for a mini Evelyn and then got a mini Evelyn, which is also pretty hard to get back. So really happy for her. But that's basically how you go about doing it, where she saw everyone at the France flagship store asking for a bag and or just like a bag, like not going to detail, but like being like, I would like a bag getting shut down because they were like, no, you need an appointment. But if they had specified early on that they were like, you know, while shopping that they wanted like maybe, even if it was a coveted bag, I wouldn't have been like, oh, like I would love to get a bag like blank. Like I would, like just generally, I would have been like, oh, I would love to get a Birkin 30 in a, like an orange color. I would do that because it's like, okay, it's like a brighter color. It's probably gonna be easier for me to get for her in not such a small size so it's just a little bit easier but if you go in saying like i want a kelly 25 or a birkin 25 in neutral colors and gold hardware they're like you're not really giving them that much room the other thing that i've seen is recently to note i've seen if you get an appointment at the flagship store i've seen that you're almost guaranteed a quota bag which is pretty cool now i say that in the sense that the, what my husband and I did where you go up to the counter and you ask for an appointment and then you get an appointment via other people canceling or them just being like sure we'll get you an appointment we never got a bag through that route even though we always got appointments through like you know a, a roundabout way so I don't think that you're guaranteed a bag if you get an appointment at a flagship store period I think you only get I only not that like 100% guarantee, but high, high, high likelihood to getting a quota bag if you get a flagship appointment naturally through the appropriate process of like applying on your phone with your passport and then them texting you through that system that you got an appointment, which is why it's so important to try every single day, starting with the day before you arrive to Paris for that appointment system, for that appointment slot. And also if you travel with other people to apply on their phones too, with their passport numbers. Now, be mindful that if you get an appointment and they wanna buy a bag, you can't, like let's say you went with your sister, you can't be like, oh, I'll just use my credit card even though it's under her passport, it has to match the person's name. So it would either be A, you pay for it with your sister's credit card, or B, you pay for it with cash. So that's fine it's just something to plan ahead if you're going with other people to make sure their their uh their credit card limit is high enough and I, i'm like smirking because like i remember doing this for my husband and myself before we went to make sure our credit card limits were high enough because we're not typically getting two or mess bags you know at a time 
So that was something that we had to do. So that's something to keep in mind for the flagship store. Another thing that other people have been reaching out about is Lyon. Like a lot of people are reaching out about Lyon and I'm so, so happy that all of you are as obsessed as I am about Lyon. My only caveat here, because I don't want ever, ever, ever to disappoint people is that going to Lyon doesn't mean that you'll get a bag. And I will say through my videos, a lot, a lot of people have been going to Lyon and I think maybe of the people that have DM me that told me that they went, maybe only 10% have been successful to get quota bags and like 90% haven't, which makes sense. Um, but at the same time, I just want to point that out because even if you ask for Melody, who's literally the best sales associate ever and I'm obsessed with her, she's not going to, you know, she can't give everyone a quota bag that visits her and a lot of people, a lot of you guys are going to visit her. That's just what I want to point out. and. But that being said, people are still asking if I sh if they if I recommend them going to Lyon. Yeah, the reason why I do is here's my this is my personal perspective, and it's not just Lyon. There's Lyon, there's Marseille, there's Aix en Provence. Sorry if I'm butchering these names. There's a bunch of places in the south of France that I highly highly recommend going to. A bunch of places that have Hermes stores that I went to, and though I did not get a quota bag that I still loved. And the reason why I love those stores too is because I felt like they weren't as touristy as Paris, but they also didn't have like such a big clientele that they were more inclined to help me as a tourist get what I was looking for. St. Tropez, I wouldn't recommend because I feel like at that point you have like really heavy hitters going to that city and it's just kind of, kind of crazy. Here in this part of the video, I wanted to talk about different cities, like if I was starting from scratch where I would go to try to get an Hermes bag. So I would go to Lyon for sure. I would go to Paris, those are probably my number two. As you guys can see, that's the only places I got my Hermes bag so far. I would go to Las Vegas, that's a really great touristy location where I heard if you buy, not a lot of things, like I wouldn't say like one to one ratio. And when I say one to one ratio for people who are new at Hermes, when they say one-to-one, -one, people talk about like spending the amount of a bag on other non-bag items. So like if the bag's $10,000, spending $10,000 on other goods before being offered a bag. So that's one-to-one -one ratio. So I don't think you have to spend one-to-one -one in Las Vegas to get an offered a bag, but I do think you have to spend some money there. I don't know how much, but I think some money would help. And then you're more likely to get a bag as a walk-in in Las Vegas. Same goes for Hawaii. Also, I've heard actually surprisingly me packing in New York is pretty great too. I would recommend that. Yeah, those are the cities I recommend. Funny enough, I feel like the cities I don't recommend is like Melbourne and Australia because I hear really, really crazy stories from like the luxury community about how hard it is to get a bag there. And I don't think a lot of people are talking about how hard it is to get a bag in Los Angeles because I don't think it's that hard. I just think that you really, really, truly have to do not even one to one ratio. I think you have to do one and a half to two ratio to get a bag. So that means if a bag's like 10K, I think you have to spend 15K to 20K to get a bag on other non bag items. I think you could still get like non quota bags and lump that maybe into the price so that helps. But that's just my personal thought in LA, just because I feel like there's so many heavy hitters here in LA. And I'm like totally fine with that. I still shop at my um, LA store, love my sales associate. I have a great time talking with them. I have more than enough Hermes bags, but I'm just sharing this knowledge for you guys, for those of you, because I know some actually people have moved here like myself from other locations are looking to shop in Los Angeles. and. I just want to be very upfront about what the shopping market is like here and that's that's my personal view on it. I think also, I guess now talking locally, it's really, really important that you build and maintain a relationship with one sales associate. I think that a lot of you guys who are watching this that are veterans of watching these types of videos will know this already, but it's more so for the new people. If you're shopping locally with a variety of sales associates, it's not to your benefit. It's gonna hurt you in the long run because no sales associate is going to try to help you get a bag because at the end of the day, they have to go to their manager for approval 
And if they build a relationship with you and they know that you're a client that's coming in that's bringing in more sales, then they'll go to the, to the manager for you. But otherwise, it's not really to their benefit to really do that. So just try to stick to one sales associate if you can. Now, speaking of the topic of switching sales associates at or miss, because I've done that myself, and it's not because I had a bad experience with my original sales associate, it's just that what happened is my Chanel sales associate has a sibling who works at the MS store and who is also a sales associate. So I just also started working with their sibling and it was just kind of nice to have a really cool connection that way. I was really, really nervous switching sales associates and <laughs> it's like champagne problems, I know. I'm very aware how ridiculous this is. But basically, my new sales associate communicated to me that it was totally okay switching sales associate as long as I didn't have a lot of purchase history with the original sales associate. Now, if I had an original sales associate and I was about, you know, that one to one to one to one to one and a half ratio of a bag, so let's pretend like 10 to 15K on my purchase history, then that'd be bad to switch sales associates because then it's like mm, you're at the cusp of like being able to be offered a bag and at that point you should just stick with your original sales associate otherwise you're going to have no chance, not no chance, but a very slim chance of getting offered a bag. Like not that you'd have to restart with a new sales associate, but like they wouldn't really be able to leverage your purchase history with the old sales associate since all that credibility was with them, if that makes sense. <sighs> wow, this is a lot of information. Okay, where was I? So yeah, basically that's how you switch sales associates and I made sure it's okay switching sales associates before I, I made the move. So yeah, that's basically my thought. I think it's very easy to get a bag if you're willing to do the one-to-one -one ratio and you're polite and you show that you really love the brand. But if you're like me and you don't want to really spend the one-to-one -one ratio and you want to have your fun in France and pay a quarter of the price of the bag on other goods and then try to get a bag, which is basically what I personally love to do, then these are just some of the tips and tricks I found along the way. I guess the last, last thing, I think I mentioned this in another video, two points I mentioned in other videos that I really recommend is wearing your Hermes bags when you go in slash other Hermes items you have. Like you don't have to be decked out completely in Hermes, but I think it helps to show that you're clearly someone who's invested in their products. Like when I wore my Hermes scrunchie with my Hermes Oasis plus my Hermes Kelly, like I clearly was someone who loved the brand versus someone who might have come in the sh you know come into the store wearing all Chanel. Still a very really nice attire, but like I think it just shows that okay one of them is like more so invested in other facets of the brand, not just the bags. Whereas like maybe the Chanel girl, unless they look up or Chanel person, unless they look up their profile, they could maybe they're just someone that's like not as invested in the brand. That being said, they do really want to give bags to people who are newer to the brand. So that's why I really recommend, let's say, not that you go in with like all decked out designer. I personally think it's actually to your benefit to wear something like a linen dress with brown sandals and just that's very minimal look. I think that plays in your favor because I think Hermes has that very minimal aesthetic to it in terms of like the tire and the bags so if you kind of fit in theme with that I feel like it shows that you could be a potential like long-term client if you will versus someone who might be wearing a lot more trendier pieces and might look like you might not be as invested in buying things across the board from Hermes in the future so I think that's also really helpful but overall be yourself be happy be nice don't go in with any expectations and enjoy your trip. That's why you're in Europe. So just enjoy it. Don't let this bring you down. And at the end of the day, if you're unable to get your bag, there's other opportunities. There's other locations. Never give up. I am someone who truly believes if you really want something, there's always a way. And I getting a bag from Hermes for me, specifically the Birkin, was a huge goal of mine amongst many other goals because I know on TikTok people are like girl and I'm like girl I have other goals too don't even worry 
but it was one it was a big goal for me so I really liked it it was actually part of a reward for me for self-publishing my first romance novel which I was really happy about so I think that if you want to treat yourself to a bag do it and it doesn't have to be tied to something like a big milestone if it is great if not great does you deserve to treat yourself and I just want to be someone who helps you guys along the way because I genuinely genuinely get so happy for you guys when you do succeed and I'm always the type of person even in my friendships that I am constantly giving people advice like to help them like get where they want to in life because I just want I truly believe that if you want something there's always a way to get where you want to be so there's no point in being sad because there's always a way to get it and I'll, I'll be your cheerleader here on this and I definitely plan on sharing more of my life with you guys not like life but like other facets of my interests with you guys that's what I want to do so that will be coming here probably more on my interest in books and novels and writing and that's pretty much what else I really want to show you guys for now there's other stuff I'm interested in but we'll, we'll save that for another time so I hope you guys found this video helpful it's more of a stream of consciousness that I would tell someone who was shopping for the first time at Hermes. I know a lot of you guys have found this advice super helpful, so I kind of wanted to do another video iteration of it. If you guys liked it and you have picked up one or two tips along the way, please give this video a big thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. It's really lovely chatting with you guys and I really hope to see you guys next time. Bye.